WWE brings seven times Women's Champion Trish Stratus to stand on the ringside and take selfies backstage. What the f Hi everyone, welcome to episode two of Ring the Bell. I'm Alula Star and this is DS. This is just our second episode, but first episode, that went really well. It went very well. Uh, thank you so much thank for Thank you. Well. Let's jump right into Monday Night Raw. Oh. Starts with Dana Brooke. She snapped. She really snaps. Wasn't there a backstage segment with Dana Brooke and Titus, and Titus Worldwide? worldwide? Mm -hmm. What exactly is her role? St to the st statistician? St statistician. She does the and analytics. the numbers. And there was an interesting analytics about her. She didn't have a singles match for nine, nine months. months. That is crazy. I didn't realize how long it had been. Wow. That's a long time. But you know what? But she definitely did not just sit in the back, mm -hmm. clearly, because Dang. she pulled out all the stops. Yeah, there wasn't anything to be like wild about, but- What? There was plenty. Did you not see when she jumped out the corner and did the front flip? But this is, I'm not gonna say that this is like a five-star match, but I have to say Dana Brooke looked amazing. She did really good. She looked crisp. Like, she was she very was on confident. point. Yes. Which was not something we could say about her. She was definitely like, this is my moment. Playtime is over. Playtime is over. Playtime is over. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Like, she does a great job and he wants to point out. But here we are. She showed that she is new. Yes. She's new. Yes. She's here to stay. I was very, very proud. What did you think about Sasha Banks? Sasha's just Sasha. Like, I thought the match was like really random, but I was just happy because it definitely surpassed my expectations because there's been matches in the past where it's like Dana's gonna, you know, come out and then the match is over in two seconds. It was refreshing to see her like really take it to Sasha and so it seemed like Sasha had to kind of like dig deep in a way. And it was great to see uh, Sasha Banks and Bailey with someone other than Ruby Riot and then the whole Riot squad. Yeah. Is that We've seen it for a million for a times. Yeah, I mean it was great okay. to see this fresh matchup. Dana mm -hmm. was amazing, so I look yes. forward to see. What do you what do you see for Dana in the future? I feel like that definitely opened eyes for creative in the back. So I'm really hoping she'll get like a really cool match on the actual pay-per-view at Evolution. Is there like a love story going on? With oh, with Dana? her and Apollo? Yeah. Cause I yeah, I kinda thought something There was something cause he seemed, there. Yeah, he seemed like he was very invested, like yeah. let me caress you. <laughs> But we all know he's married and has a kid though, so I think I, I don't no know idea. if that would work. Let's go into the stratifying segment when Trish Stratus, the Hall of Famer, seven times women's champion, returned. I was very happy. Especially how um, she interacted with Elias. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a cute little back and forth. That was cute. It was interesting because at first I was like, okay, where is this going? Why uh -huh. is she out here? Like, <laughs> is he about to sing her a song? And yeah, then like, yeah. they kind of started throwing blows at each other. The blows were pretty good. I yeah. think Trish still has it. Uh -huh. What I liked about this time around was mm -hmm. that she has grown. Mm -hmm. She's a mother now. In her voice, I could kind of feel the gravitas. You could tell that Trish was the one in charge. Yeah. So that was good to see because, you know, that doesn't happen a lot when it comes to women and men right. when they're in the mic, you know? It's the, you uh, it unfortunately, at the end of this promo... I don't date women in their 60s. I was like, no, was, he didn't. That was harsh. But I mean, she, she got him really good too. But this is the thing. This is where I was like... I was expecting when that happened, I was like, okay, chick kick, satisfaction, let's go. Yeah. But just a slap. And then Rhonda came out. Yeah, that was kind of random. And like, then Natalia came out. Yeah. And then, and then I thought they were going to like, just gang up with Elias and like kill him. <laughs> Finish her party. I thought she Oh, that would have been nice. Armbar, sharp And then sharpshooter and like, that was a missed opportunity. Yeah. Uh, I was really upset about that because here's the thing. Trish Stratus is the biggest name when it comes to women's wrestling history. Do you agree? Uh, definitely. Anyone in the street or anyone at the bar when they're insulted, they will slap a guy. Anyone can slap. But you just thought that wasn't a Trish Stratus move. Trish will f him up. Trish Stratus is the one who had Battle of Sexes with Chris Jericho and Chris That Jericho. is true. She knows how to battle men. But maybe they didn't want to like bury him. Bury the Because male. they do like him. Because if he would have been like Heath Slater, oh, he would have got it. I you guess. know what I mean? Again, Trish Stratus is a top when it comes to women's wrestling history. Mm -hmm. If they brought anyone like The Rock or Stone Cold Steve Austin, oh, yeah, it Elias would have died. Yeah, he would have got it. If they <laughs> brought like B-class legend, they would have still yeah, so kill the lions. Mm -hmm. Trish was there. Why did Elias survive that second? But then again, Trish is the small. 
And he is pretty jacked. For I thought that was a maybe. perfect opportunity to show that women can kick ass. I don't think that would have hurt him at all. Like, I think WWE thinks so. Yeah, that's how I'm thinking that they would think. I wanted Ronda, Natalia, Trish to all gang up on Elias, f him up. Get him out of the ring. That would have been amazing. It would have. I wish. I wish it would have been Santina Morella. If <laughs> Santina <laughs> returns for Evolution, I will. Riot. Oh my God! Santina is kind of a legend. My name is Santina. So after Ronda and Natalia came out, first of all, Natalia came out to Toronto audience. She got no reaction. I mean, they were here for her, but they didn't pop. Like they were just like, oh pop. my God, it's Natty. That's another thing that I didn't like about the segment. <laughs> Alicia Fox got no reaction. Mickey James got no reaction, even though she has this rich history with, with Trish. Trish yeah. Natalia, yeah. she just came back after this tragedy yeah. of Canadian hero. Clustering everything together with Rhonda, Trish, mm. and everything, like, up a lot of heat but it could have been there i think it's because they're be teasing a lot of stuff mm -hmm. i think because they don't want to just give it all to us at once because remember with royal rumble uh -huh. when they came to raw 25 we thought something big was going to happen and then yeah, we were disappointed yeah. and then at the pay-per-view we were like holy shit also booking with mickey too because if mickey was like she just came out of nowhere just Absolutely. like alicia fox exactly. so it's like hard for people to be like what did you think of alexa bliss's segment i mean i love alexa I, I love do, I do. I love everything about it. she's like she's such a good heel. I think she did a great job because she had to sell two matches: evolution match, yep, and, and the one the for yeah. And then she also had to put over Alicia Fox versus Natalia. <laughs> but it was just, it's so bad because like Foxy's just a prop. Like she literally was just standing there. They didn't come out to her music. Yeah, she didn't even have a mic. She just stood there. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. what she said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, and then she told Trish, she was like, I'm the new you, like mm -hmm. I'm, I replaced you. And that I was, was like, yeah, one. that was good. Cause a lot of people say yeah. they look alike, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I think Alexa had like a really tough job here for mm -hmm. a job given. I think she did a great job, but I think writing wise- It was it like all packed. It, yeah, it is Toronto. I understand why they brought Trish Stratus, but I feel like mm -hmm. it's too packed. I think it kind of killed a lot of vibes that yeah. could have been amazing. But I think they also thought that the togetherness of the girls was good for the crowd. We do love seeing them all come together and like make history well Not in good. theory we do <laughs> in, in theory we do your winner and miss wrestlemania oh um, and then the match yes was really short very there was no physicality outside. yeah not at all so i guess they're they saving just, that they need to though yeah they're saving that juicy part yeah for later i think i mentioned it to you before where i was saying like um if alexa was to like cower her way out of the match with trish and then mickey take her spot mm. i think that would be like pretty awesome that would be pretty that. awesome alexa can you do that thank you like after her match with ronda and <laughs> yeah, helena yeah, yeah. cell because she's clearly gonna oh. lose oh, she yeah, could yeah. be like oh you know like I'm just so hurt, blah, blah, blah. That's and then she could help put Mickey over and she, maybe she beat Trish. That's actually a really good theory. Let's pray for that. That's awesome. Let's pray for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After that, there was a little backstage segment where Rhonda and Natalia and Trish were all being buddy buddies. And then <laughs> Bella's joined. Oh! You like literally slap the taste out of his mouth. And that's exactly right, Brie, because I mean, we're the Bellas, and like, if you catch us on Total Divas. I love the way they talk, though. Isn't it kind of heelish? What? The way they the way talk? She talks. <laughs> they even said it themselves they prefer being heels. Mm hmm. So I guess that's why when they talk, it seems kind of... Okay, the rumored match, of course, you all know, it's going to be Ronda versus Nikki for Evolution, right? I don't want that. I know Nikki would lose. She uh -huh. would have to. Do you think Nikki's going to be face or heel for that? Well, I think if they end up having that match, she'll probably be heel. So do you think this is like her trying to be heel? Mm -hmm. Slowly turning heel? Maybe. I. I... <sighs> when Trish <laughs> went backstage and took selfies with Bella's and Natalia. I thought it was cute. When they were like, this is evolution right here. And I'm just like. But they are some of the OG though. Oh. Natty's been there forever. The Bella's have been there forever. But taking selfies. This is the day and age we're in. I love taking selfies, but let's be, let's be and honest. And then we were on Raw. Taking selfies is kind of something that people think is like, Cheesy. Really cheesy, oh. you know. I mean, it was supposed to be like one of those mushy make us all be like, oh. Cause it did make me go off. I mean, do you think we're gonna see Stone Cold Steve Austin taking selfies backstage? Well, he's a guy. You don't see guys like, oh, let's all get together. What are, like... what are some straight guys thing they do like kind of mushy like that? Do they like scratch their balls together? Like what, <laughs> what is their thing? They have a bro fest, bro. Like, bro, that was scratch awesome, balls bro. together. Yeah, I mean, basically. like, it's just really, like, are you really taking selfies together right here? Like Trish, you just came back. 
Like, but they have to you... save it. They can't give us all of it right away. Okay, let's just hope that, because I'm disappointed. I want Trish to come back, f some shit up, do she some will. killer promos with Alexa she Bliss. She will. You gotta wait. We have like a whole month before. True. Also, so. Ronda Rousey. Last week, she broke Stephanie's arm or something. This week, she was just like, Okay, we're, we're gonna talk about SmackDown and see how their intensity is so different from Raw. That's true. Because Raw, true. they're all giggly, they're all friends. Two matches are announced for Raw next week and yes. then the Super Showdown. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, Bella Twins are gonna uh, mix up with Riot Ronda. Squad. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really excited about that because the Riot Squad has been killing it and then I love the Bellas, so. Yeah, and then, you know, I love Ruby Riot. She yeah. can definitely. Oh, and her new, wrestle. like, hair and oh, everything. Yeah. Oh. So I'm excited to see what they do. I, you know, that's so fresh. Yeah. see how that goes. Who do you think's going to walk away with the win, though? Next week? Mm hmm Of course, Bellas. Okay. All right, so let's go to SmackDown. SmackDown, SmackDown is oh, killing it. Wow. What is happening to SmackDown? It's so good. Yeah. It's so freaking juicy. It goes through these like periods where it's like super dry. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, holy shit. Holy, <laughs> we're in that moment. First match is Naomi versus Billy Kay. Like my iconics are winning. Winning. They need to, because they're going to Australia. <laughs> I love seeing Naomi in her entrance. Yes. And I think she is genuinely so happy to be back. Yeah. She's like... <laughs> I don't care if I'm losing tonight. Like, I'm just in a match. This match was fine. It, it was good. Oh, did you see the hair spot where Billy Kay was just holding Yes, and it, it went... <laughs> it's because she's been spraying her mm -hmm. hair now. Yeah, it was almost like a green mist moment. <laughs> I think the natural progression of the storyline is that she brings someone in for a partner. I hope it's not Tamina, though. You... Please, no Tamina. No, I think it's going to be Tamina or... Juana, please. Asuka. I think it's going to be Asuka. Because she's just sitting there. Where she deserves to be. <gasps> Can we not? And, that just doesn't even go together. turn heel. Anyways. <laughs> I think Asuka and Naomi feud is going to be golden. You think she's going to bury Naomi? Yes, most definitely. I mean, well, they have kind of slowed Asuka down a whole, whole lot. Mm -hmm. NXT Asuka. No. Royal Rumble Asuka. <laughs> no. She needs to go away <laughs> and never come back. I don't know. Maybe Tamina will come back and surprise all of us. She is a second generation Tamina. I mean, unless Tamina really like no. snaps when she comes back. I love her contact lens, by the way, so <laughs> please bring that back. Next is Brie Bella and Zelina Vega segment. Brie Bella came out with Daniel Bryan mm -hmm. and they were talking about you punching that man was so hot. Yeah, that was like kind of weird. I, I, I didn't hate it, but it was like, like it was really guys, cute. Like, get a room, get a room. <laughs> and then Zelina Vega and Cien Almas yeah. came out. Like, Zelina, you know, she did her thing. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I yes. don't know what that means, but I, that sounds I cool. think that means, like... I love the whole comedy beat with Paige coming out late. Oh. <laughs> she was like, woo! And she was like, oh. This is what I love about SmackDown, is that SmackDown is giving every single woman character. That's true. Like, every single woman has, like, a very specific character. We know who they are, we know what they think, we know mm. what they're like. Except for Absolution. Are you talking about Dandy? Are they called Dandy now? Oh, no, that's just what they call each Wait, other what, outside. what were they called before? Absolution. Absolute, isn't that the name? No, Absolution. Just two of them? <laughs> Are you serious? Did you just make that up? I thought that was a thing. I don't know. Maybe not. Absolution. Absolution. But Mandy is snapping on dark it. matches with Asuka. Maybe they're about to have a few. But I want Mandy. her to bring her K-pop theme song back. You can't call her Mandy. Her name is... Main oh. Rose. During the match between Daniel Bryan and Andrade Sinalmas. Oh, Maurice came and clocked. Maurice came. She hit the pole, beating her up on the side, then she threw it back in the ring and then Yeah. French kiss. People think she's lazy, but she's just classy. This whole attack on Brie looked devastating. Yeah. Now and she sold it really good. She sold it really good. Let's move back to Raw. They were taking selfies while Maurice got the job done. Legends only. But yeah, so that was great. I love seeing that interaction. Yes. The main event. Everybody, including you, that says Carmella cannot wrestle, definitely shut 
all of you down because this was definitely her best match. I think this match of Carmella made a lot of haters shut the hell up. Yes, she was getting so emotional in the match. Mm -hmm. Like, I could feel that she was like, I'm trying to win this back. Like, I deserve this. Like, I'm money. Like, I can beat Charlotte. Like, I don't need to cheat. Like, I'm just gonna do it. She has that cowardly character. It wasn't much of that, which I'm fine with because this match was amazing. Was really good. She... She was dominated. Ruthless, yeah. She dominated Charlotte, which was great. Her timing was on point. Yeah. She was intense. Her acting was there. Mm -hmm. She sold all the moves. I would say she was the star of the match. Yeah, I think this was like kind of perfect kind of swan song for her because mm -hmm. she's like phasing out of that championship storyline. Kind of sad. I guess it's sad now because she. I finally learned that she could <laughs> really <sighs> give a great so match. So sad. I kind of want her to turn face. No, she's doing so well with heel. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like she's done it. Because I feel like now SmackDown's pretty heel heavy. Like, because it's, it's literally heavy. just Naomi and Asuka now. Carmella doing that uh, Will Barrel Snapmare. Amazing. Oh, wow. Like, beautiful. Mm -hmm. She was in the corner and did the Hurricane Rana, top rope Hurricane oh, Rana. I, was like, I, I thought if like they were the... given like five, six minutes more, it would have been like classic match. But Charlotte completely finished her. Natural selection Natural and then selection. figure A. Like, yes. damn. So she like decimated her but until then Carmella like, was finish completely her. dominating so great match but Becky Balboa came out they're really loving this heel Becky I am too Becky basically laid out Charlotte grabbed a mic you bitch you bitch that was like oh this really gave me shivers when she said bitch yeah that delivery really showed that she is an actress. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. was so much emotions in there. Mm -hmm. And I think this, like, it really explains why she isn't necessarily a heel in this situation. I think the reason that people are so behind her, everyone has that moment where yeah. someone, like your friend, your coworker, your family, took something that it that, that you worked deserved, so hard yeah, for. Yeah, that you worked so hard for. And they just walked in and got it. Everyone has that moment. Mm -hmm. So people can like understand Relate. with her mm -hmm. more so than Charlotte Flair yeah. talking about, don't be jealous of my success. Okay, I see what you're you saying. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I fell for her. I think everyone in Toronto fell for her. Yes. Everyone watching TV fell for Becky. Yeah. And I think that's why she's so effective right now. Yes. And she is the biggest. Because we've been so thing. behind her. Yeah. So far, SmackDown. SmackDown is killing Smackdown it. SmackDown is lit. I want Trish Stratus to come to SmackDown and like <laughs> some shit up. Because Raw, not stratified. Were you stratified? Yeah. All right. I mean, I feel like, like you said, it could have been more, but I know it's coming, so mm -hmm. it's fine. I really hope. I really hope. I liked I being hope teased a little bit. Like, I like when they tease. Like little strip tease. <laughs> I like when they do a little tea. That's fine. I do like strip teas too. I guess. I am waiting. WWE. I am waiting. It's coming. Stay it's patient. Coming. Great. News and rumors for this week. Let's start with the first rumor. Becky Lynch. Apparently isn't heel. So WWE is reportedly changing course on Becky Lynch and Charlotte's storyline. WWE has learned from uh, the fans' reaction from SummerSlam and the SmackDown after mm -hmm. that. It's less of a heel and baby face anymore, but it's mm -hmm. gonna be like two friends who both make sense. So I guess it's more like a tweener storyline now. Yeah, because Becky is a tweener. She turned heel, but everybody still loves her, so... And then it makes sense for Charlotte, too, because she didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. She worked her ass off. Right. She's talented, so she earned this title. She has every right to be mad at Becky Lynch. Exactly. But also, Becky has her reasons. So it's going to be more tweeners, which I love. When it's told When well. it's done right, yeah. Has there ever been a Twitter storyline that we've loved from women's division? Maybe the AJ and Paige? Oh, they were switching. Yeah. 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 There were some double turns and like yeah. everything. So it was very confusing. And mm -hmm. the whole chocolate segment were like... <laughs> Eat one! Paige with that... That poem that she came out and read. Oh. AJ. So we've never seen Twitter storylines <laughs> going well. So, we'd love to see how it goes. Definitely. Becky and Charlotte, they're gonna tear the house down. Yes. Let's move to Evolution because it's coming up. Good news is that it's almost sold out apparently, but I see that tickets are still available on Ticketmaster and it's cheap. Okay. It's like $40. 
Oh, that's not bad so, at all. So go get it. What are you doing? It's going to be amazing. It's going to be WrestleMania. It's going to be Super Bowl for women's wrestling. Yes. The rumored match for Evolution is Brie Bella versus Maurice. I'm here for it. Yeah, two formal Divas champions. Well, if that's going to happen, I feel like then probably Brie and Daniel will lose at mm -hmm. Hell in a Cell and then mm -hmm. Brie will get the singles win. So do you think Daniel is going to lose again? after Summer Sun loss. Cause I feel like that's what he needs. That mm -hmm. way they can like really secure the fans being behind him and then yeah. he can get a really big win. I have to say, I have bad memories of Maurice versus Brie Bella from like, But 10. it's a new day and age now. It's new day and age. And Brie can definitely carry. Brie, I can see that. Also, I know that Brie's wrestling ability like evolved a yeah. lot since then. And then with then. Maurice being with The Miz, I know he's been showing her stuff. And then, I mean, I'm not gonna discredit Maurice either cause she's a, She's a veteran. And hell, who knows? Maurice probably knew how to do a whole lot of stuff that we've never seen that she just wasn't allowed to do because girls don't fight like so that. So you know, I used to be like a big Maurice stan. Whenever people hate on Maurice, I always go to that Survivor Series match where she, she was pulling moves after moves. It. She that TKO, the French TKO. And Beth Phoenix, sold the shit out of that. I was like, look at her. She could do that. Like, that was actually one of my favorite matches. That's why I always love Survivor Series. Mm -hmm. So I really hope she comes back full force. Show us what the queen she is. Another legend is rumored for Evolution Return, and that is none other than Michelle McCool. You're not enough for me. <laughs> She's a legend. And she can go, so I hope that's oh, true. You remember how many people like she eliminated from World Rumble? She eliminated like everybody. She so man. a graphic for McCool's evolution appearance was shown on screens before NXT Takeover. What? That's amazing. Um, who do you think she should wrestle though? Okay, if I can pick it, I would want her to come back with Layla mm -hmm. and Lay Cool versus the Iconic. Lay Cool versus Iconic. Book that. Oh my God, what I would cry. <laughs> Just imagine like the promos between. Between the two, like, oh yeah, my god. Yeah. Don't come back with the loving life, Jesus crap. I'm Michelle McCool, and I'm loving life. I'm Michelle McCool, and I'm loving life. I'm Michelle McCool, and I'm loving life. They could be, I think they could be face and still be like, you think so? Famous and flawless. I mm -hmm. think so. Yeah. And it'd be nice to see Layla, because she's just been like, God bless her, but she got married and she's just like off the face of the earth. That's a good matchup. Yeah. Good idea. WWE unveils new NXT UK Women's Championship, and it looks like the male version. That's the but, format. But the, yeah, but yeah. the white leather. It looks great. I think the male version looked amazing. Do you know who won it? Because I do. Spoiler territory. So we're going to cover that when it actually Okay. Even though I'm sure some of you know. I mean, it was on WWE.com. Oh, did they? Yeah. The new champion was crowned. Uh, the champion belt looks amazing. It uh, does look nice. I don't know much about this whole UK deal, but the one wrestler that I love, I mean, I love Tony Storm, but mm -hmm. I love Jeannie. Oh yeah, the oh fashionista, right? <gasps> Jeannie Couture? Yeah. She's amazing. I haven't seen her work, uh, but I'm excited. I've seen her matches and I'm like... Really? Yeah, What's her finisher? I would love to see more of her on WWE television. I've heard a lot of good things about her. Like that's why I'm so excited about that. She's man such. Outfit. She's such a. <laughs> oh, so she's a heel. She's a. She's well, yeah, a that would make sense. Heel. That would make sense. The oh couture my God. model. Would, yeah, she would make you feel like nothing. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. And lastly, exciting news about WWE. Not really, but we do care about uh, our WWE alum and their future endeavors. So Eva Marie is now all purple everything. Ew. You're somewhat purple, somewhat. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> lot of rainbow. purple. Yeah, I'm yeah, a lot yeah. of purple. Yeah, and yeah. Just... So she dyed her hair purple. I like it. I miss the red. I miss the red. I think red is her color. It looks like when Sasha does her hair do wrong, like when she dyes it wrong. Oh, but I think she did that on purpose. Oh, really? Yeah, like you see it like how I have the blue like in mine. Oh. It's like blue hues. Sure. I mean, if anyone can pull off that look, mm -hmm. that's Eva Marie. And Summer Rae. So, oh my gosh! Remember she said she would she could dye her hair red and be just as hot as Eva. Remember on Total Divas? Oh! And she really did! And she looks great! She looks hot. And she looks sophisticated. She's Kylie Summers now. Remember that she wanted- that's what she wanted her name to be. Dusty Rhodes was like, 
what is a Kylie Summers? No, you're gonna be Summer Ray. Okay, and so okay. that's how she got her name. There is not much to report, but they changed her <laughs> hair. I don't know why, but when it comes to WWE superstars, I like their classic look. Becky's orange, Trisha's blonde, Sasha's oh, yeah. purple. Like when Alexa had like that silver hair for a little bit. Oh before, yeah, no. That looked like I just got some shiny Pokemon. Like I don't really like it. It's just like, it looks kind of weird, but it's kind of cool. I think maybe something happened with her uh, stylist and she had to do it herself. So you I think I? she had, yeah, I think she had to bleach it herself and it ended up being silver and she just kept oh, it that way. Tell the self, Alexa Bliss's DYI look. I mean, I didn't think it was bad. It was, it was fine. It was fine. <laughs> it was fine. So that was news and rumors. So now this is my favorite segment called Spill the Tea or Pass to Me. And this question was submitted by Carl underscore N-U-F-C. For you, DS, who is your biggest WWE crush? My biggest WWE crush has been Finn Balor. Because oh. he's been gay baiting <laughs> with that oil. Recently, oh, Tony Nese. Oh, I digress. Don't quote me, but there might have been wardrobe malfunction. Um. Not that that has anything to do <laughs> with my respect for Tony Nese, but Tony Nese, I love you. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Mine would probably have to be Roman Reigns. He is beautiful. Sure. Oh, <gasps> Tyler, Tyler Bay. Bay. He's a baiter too. That's the one. Go check his Instagram stories. Oh my God. Oh, I never watch them. <laughs> All right, well, this has been episode two of Ring the Bell. Thank you for watching. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the Lola Star. And you can follow me at Nintendo Boy DS. Thanks for watching.